Timothy 2 verse 30. Even when we are too weak to have any faith left, he remains faithful to us and will help us. For he cannot disown us who are part of himself. And he will always carry out his promises to us. The faithfulness of God never ceases. You can rest assured that he will always be faithful. He will be faithful when you are not faithful. He will be faithful on your worst day, just as he's faithful on your best day. This is so encouraging that even when we are weak, where we have no faith left, even when circumstances and situations and experiences so negatively impact us and drain us that we find it difficult to even believe, even though we know we still find it difficult to believe. Even in such moments, God remains faithful. He remains faithful and he will help us. Glory to God. Isn't that just awesome? This is where you tell the devil, get behind me, Satan. Get away from here, Satan. You accuser of the brethren, you are false. God has not given up on me. Even in such weak moments, God will help you. And why will he help you? Because he cannot disown you. He cannot disown us because we are a part of him. We are already one with him. We are his body. We are his own. To disown us would require him disowning himself. So he will never leave us nor forsake us. He will carry out his promises to us. That's what the scripture says. He will always carry out his promises to us. Doesn't that make you feel safe and secure? That the eternal, omnipotent, omnipresent God will always carry out his promises to you? Lamentations 3 verses 22 to 24 says, The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. Now this testimony and declaration came from the prophet Jeremiah in a time and within a context where Judah was afflicted by the rod of God's wrath. They were hedged in and blocked. They were having dark experiences. Yet, in the midst of recounting all the hardship and pain that they were going through, Jeremiah says, of one thing I'm certain, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. 
One thing I'm certain of, his mercies never come to an end. Because even though we've been going through the chastisement and the discipline of the Lord, he's still been faithful. That's why we've not been destroyed. That's why it hasn't been worse. That's why we are still alive. The Lord is faithful. He's faithful in announcing his judgments. He's faithful in performing his judgments. He's faithful in preserving us throughout the judgments. And he is faithful in restoring us to the place we ought to be. The Lord is faithful. Even in times of chastisement, if we humble ourselves, and allow ourselves to be exercised by the discipline, we will reap the peaceable fruit of righteousness because he is a faithful God and his faithfulness never ceases. God bless you. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And for more, Join us at 9 a.m. on Sunday mornings at 10 Union Square, Crossroads. If you can't be there in person, join us virtually via Facebook Live.